It's that night It's now or never I'm gonna live forever I just wanna live long life It's that night Hi! Welcome to another episode of On Instagram! And what are we gonna do today, Miriam? We are going to paint! And it's not just the ordinary paint job today. This is going to be an actual masterpiece. We're actually going to design a painting that goes on the back of the Murphy bed. So when the Murphy bed is up, you won't see the back frame of the bed. Instead, you're going to see this picturesque centerpiece that's going to be like the focal point of the whole van. So today, we're going to paint what, Miriam? What's it going to be? The, the, the plywood. The plywood. It's, we're gonna paint what? What scene are we gonna paint on the plywood? The uh, beach. The beach. So Miriam has had some experience painting a beach sunset scene. So he already knows how to make a gradient with the setting sun, and we're going to go with that. And of course, it's gonna have some personal touches, which you will discover towards the end of this video. Okay, are you ready, Miriam? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it! Good job. Let's go put it in. Okay, so we're gonna hand this off to a new cameraman, camera woman, who's got a big future in this, huh, Miriam? Yeah! Okay, here you go.
Okay, wow. Ooh. It's another hot day here in the Philippines. We call this the dog days of summer in the United States. This is brutal when you're trying to work in an area like this. But we got it. Here it is. The painting is in place. You know, we just wanted to make sure it fit the frame of the bed. It's not exactly sturdy in place yet, but we'll make another nice little frame for it internally to cut out any kind of light that might be shining through. And I'm super happy with it. I love it. When you come in from the side door right where the camera is there and you just, first thing you see is that, it's just like, boom, right in your face. Beauty, you know, that's what, uh, to me, that's what van life is all about. Just being in places like this and with your family, enjoying your family, enjoying the beauty of creation, you know. What more would you want, right? So, what do you think about it, Miriam? The painting. What do you like about it? The waterfall. The waterfall. Wow. I love, I love waterfalls. I love waterfalls, too. What about you, Bing? You're the artist, so what would you, would you give us a synopsis of your artwork here? Okay, so what I love about it is it's a complete family picture. If you notice, there's me, there's Miriam, there's Paul, and there's another smaller little girl. It represents our little baby canary who we lost a few months ago, just before we bought this van. And in her honor, we built this van out, and with her enduring spirit, we will be doing the van life, enjoying our freedom, but we will be taking her everywhere with us. Yes. This is our alternate reality, right there. Yeah, so it's the beautiful centerpiece for our home away from home, right? Because this is our home when we're on the road. And uh, it's getting there. That's the thing. We're almost done. I always got stung by a scorpion. Yeah, that's true. You almost got stung by a scorpion. This was laid out on top of some plastic. It was bubble wrap. And she was just jumping on it. And when I took it off the floor, there was a scorpion right there. A cute one. Uh, dwarf, dwarf wood scorpions, scorpions uh, which I didn't even know there were those things in the Philippines. In this in this area. So, so it seems like it might have yeah. come from some lumber yard somewhere, wherever we, like, the wood came from, you know. But they're harmless. There's not much venom in them, you know. So we actually eat the bugs, so it's we wouldn't have a bug problem <laughs> if we have a scorpion infestation. Because <laughs> oh. we have plenty of wood panels that we're, we're using. Yeah, we won't have to worry about termites. It was a short day's work, but it was a hard day's work because we sweated trying to get this in. I had to cut out the wood, the actual art piece some more just to get it to fit into the bed frame. But there it is. I think it's beautiful. What do you think? You know, leave a comment below and tell us what you think about the beautiful piece of art that our artists did. I'm always amazed by Bing's artistry because once she gets focused on a project and inspired, she usually doesn't stop until she finishes it. So she actually finished this piece in one day. That's right, one day. And she got a late start because somebody it takes a long time to eat their breakfast in the morning. But, so she probably started at 10.30 a.m. I say yesterday, and then of course we broke for lunch, and then after lunch she started on it again, and had it done before dark. So it just dark here, what, 6 o'clock, 6.30? So I'd say seven hours, seven to eight hours of just hard work painting. And she has a headache and a backache to prove it. Yeah, just now. <laughs> yeah. But everything beautiful comes with a cost, right? So there it is. We just wanted to show you our update on that, our, on our interior. And we're gonna go eat lunch, huh? Yeah. yeah, I think we're ready for lunch. And and a Hershey bar. I think there's a Hershey bar in there too. I don't know. So, as always, sending love from the Philippines. Take care.